9pm, you're on your own, waiting for a bus dripping to your iPhone, listening to the soundtrack of Hairspray that you found when you got home safely. It's 10pm, I'm stood at a bus stop, next to a lady who seems to have drifted off. She's listening to music like me, but I'm not on her radar, and nor is the 103. It pulls up and opens its doors, it's not my bus, mine's the 104. Is she going to Dundee or Buenos Aires? Nobody knows, she's away with the fairies. So I lower my headphones and slide into view, and say, is this your bus? Is this you? And she obviously can't make out what I say, because her ears, like she said, are plugged up with hairspray. To your surprise? Prince Charming arrives and says, Hey girl, my dick's worth your way. It's a compliment. Come on, smile. <laughs> That's not what I said, dear. Take out the earbuds. I'm trying to make sure you're not missing this here bus. But never mind that. Now it's pulling away. Are you on something? And are you okay? Then and we exchange mutual glances of horror when I notice she thinks she knows Amy Poehler. But it's no one's place to tell someone what to do with their face. Right, oh, that's a familiar symptom of something you've taken without a prescription. You're in a flight hole, or a ketamine prison, or maybe a fungus called feminism. And I halted, feeling misvaulted. So normal to be sexually assaulted. I'm walking away now, you just missed your bus, and I'd rather miss mine than let anyone see us. But if girls start speaking, they're just sluts attention seeking. Your hair is green, and it's been green since you were 16. You hang around in public places with imaginary rapists, but you don't want to be seen. Okay. Hey, look at me. Do I have to? Look at my sexy knee. Do you have to? And to someone maybe demonstrating, but to others I'm a crazy bitch of menstruating. You're demonstrating something, but it's not your knee, and Mr. Waiting isn't crazy if you don't free bleed, and I'm probably not the first to point out this conflation, but why haven't they renamed it Femstruation? But they'll watch ready to pounce in case we jump and our tits bound. Ask yourself one thing before you complain. What goes on in this scenario when men do the same? In this sample, for example, when men jiggle their tits, either everybody winces or no one gives a shit. When you try to list the ways in which your life is hard, and all you can come up with is how popular you are, then all I can reply in respect to this drivel is... politely telling you to check your privilege. Oh, we want tits, tits, tits to be winning like Charlie Sheen. <laughs> That's the telltale sign of a badly forced rhyme, if ever I've seen one, green one. But I draw the line at breastfeeding in public, man. That shit's obscene. Your hair is green, like it's been cleaned in a latrine. Old ladies hate your tits, but men love them to bits, so you became a feminist. What's better than slut shaming? Gaming? A little bit of victim blaming. Stop woman splaining. You know, I'm messing around because no one wants to be Chris Brown. Except Rihanna. Let's make him into a verb. His successful career is completely absurd, but he said sorry and looks at Oh, well then I guess domestic violence isn't so bad. All violence is bad, except self-defense and competition. Some men cannot contain it, and neither can some women. But I am not attracted to them. I will not go back to them, because I do not react with problematic coagulum. Christ, and in the biblical sense, should we talk about St. Paul's advice to men? No ladies in my steeple, they're just baby making people. I do not permit a woman to teach or have authority over a man, she must be silent. I'm a free thinker, I don't read the Bible. I find it at best trite and at worst tribal. And if I'm not a believer and neither are you one either, let's agree to agree, Paul was an overachiever. Your hair is green, and it's not even Halloween. But you dream of the dark ages, as you cherry pick the pages of a Marxist magazine. Oh Nick, it's not that bad. You're not in Yemen, don't act so sad. But who's speaking up for those women? WRAs, by definition. Should they accept the hell that they're given? And we stand still with a benevolent glare when FGM is so prevalent there. Alright Nick, I've got an idea. Go to Yemen. It's lovely at this time of year. Then when I try to stop circumcision right here, there'll be one less bigot to drink my male tears. Where young girls squirm in their wedding carriages, child rape condoned under the guise of marriage. Whereas over here, when a woman rapes a child, she doesn't need a ring or a church or a trial. She doesn't even need to hide or disguise it. We just don't call it rape. So it isn't. 
and I might sound bold because I'm giving an opinion because I can but the sad fact that I know is it'd be taken more seriously if it was said by a man. Man or beast or brewer's yeast commands twice the respect at least of a shrew demanding gratitude with nothing in a hand but an attitude. And gender's so vast, can we make sexism a thing of the past? Good plan, I'll get rid of the meninism. Well you can dismantle the feminism then we can get back to the problems of billions like men's rights and women's rights. Oh and the children. But it's hard when the media endorses a blurred line instead of college courses. How many quotas, how many safe spaces? How many times must girls take boys places? How many departments are we to lay low? Before you'll take your eyes off that prick on the radio. We're just not there yet. We close our eyes and try to forget, but just like Bigfoot in the mist, we pretend transgenders don't exist. You do to the trans what you do to the cis. You only ignore them if they have a penis. Because it's easy peasy. Fucking lemon squeezy. Is it? We'll try being invisible. It's difficult, mm. difficult. Lemon difficult. If we close the door and what we don't understand will be divided. Your hair is green. We're all man haters. And it's not in the jeans, it's fettling dying. Girls, don't despair and say, you know what, I've never even looked down there. Your hair is turquoise. And, like and another and word for servants the is boys. A common insult in the world be called a girl. You look like a man. Yes, you do. You're welcome. Am I welcome too? She had dumps like a truck, hate... truck, truck. Guys like what? 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 Give me so so I think I said it again. She had dumps like a no truck, shoes. truck, truck. Guys like what? Doesn't rhyme, Cisco. Just oh, no. Let me see. Whoa, 